So I want to welcome our special guests here. Um, parents, we always videotape our performances, so if you have a, somebody, a relative who couldn't make it, we'll put this out on our district cable channel. So welcome. And then finally, I just want to thank all the adults uh, for helping out here. But this is a tradition we've had for a long time. We haven't been able to do it for the last couple of years. But I um, just want to thank everybody, especially Mrs. Ehlers, for all her work putting this together. Because the students and the adults, they've worked oh, every week since almost the start of the year. They've had rehearsals after school. They've um, gotten together. Students have different speaking and singing parts. So this is something that we continue that you want to do um, when you're in third, fourth, or fifth grade. So with that, I'm going to turn over to Mrs. Ehlers, and welcome. As Mr. Reimer said, today it's a really special performance, and we have not been together this year for a performance. So keep your hands on your own body, keep your eyes looking up, and be great listeners.
We get it. You all know the King, Ar the King Arthur legend. If not, let me tell you. Oh, Merlin, let us tell you for days. I guess that will be all right, but I. It was the day of the big jump. Everyone was gathered in the rope-top area with their armors, horses, weapons, and attended by the young squire. Squires and young men who hope one day to be knights themselves. The squires do everything for the knights, including getting them ready for the jumps. Remember, Arthur was a squire for Sir Hector. Everyone's everyone's gathered for the biggest joust of the year. It's like the World Series of all jousts. The Stanley Cup. The Super Bowl. The Olympics of the jousting world. Enough already. Let's have a song. <laughs> Weapon. The squire has to get it. Sir Hector forgot his sword. For Sir Hector forgot his sword at home. Not good for a knight who's on deck at the joust. So Arthur takes off as fast as the squire he likes will take him. He runs to the streets of town, past the castle moat, past the church at several fine dyke establishments. By the time he reaches town square, he realizes he's only halfway home. He knows he will never make it all the way home. Get Sir Hector. Now this is where I have to remind you of the legend of King Arthur. You will call in your lessons that when the king, Arthur's father, died, there was no heir to the throne. That will teach him to give his son away. So the royal court had a sore place in his stone in the middle of town stair. The legend says that whomever could pull the sword out of the stone will be the rightful heir to the throne. They would become king. I just said that. It is in front of this sword stab stone that Squire Arthur finds himself as he is racing home to retrieve Sir Hector's sword. Well, you probably don't recall from this famous legend, it had only a few steps away from that stone was another rock. Thinking out of that rock was something even more beautiful and enticing than the former King's sword. And 
that's what caught his attention. Hmm. I still want something interesting for choosing from it. I only had time to choose one and get back to the joust. Well, this one is most certainly a sword and seems a logical choice. This one's much more colorful and seems full of many fantastic possibilities. I'm taking this one! Does this at all sound familiar to you? Or we'll watch what happens next. My lord! My lord! I pray the best instrument I could find. Is that colorful? What? What is this? I have no idea. But is it beautiful? Beautiful indeed, but what can it do? Strange tomb in the stone in the middle of town square. Everyone knows. Whoever pulls it out, the rifle heir to the throne. I thought that was a sword. Duh, it's both.
Now, are we boys or are we men? Men! Are we men or are we knights? Knights! Are we knights at the table? Yes, Your Majesty! Then sing, men! Sing like the knights you are!
I just said that.
such a great job. Give yourself a pat on the back for being such a great audience. All right. I want to thank Mrs. Almeida, the adults that helped us um, in this process. Mrs. Almeida, who is a former Highland teacher, Mrs. Flake, Miss Page, and I'm not sure if Miss Kathy's in the audience. But they all helped at rehearsals and with directing and stuff. And all to the parents that helped with the scenery. Um, Mrs. Jensen came in and helped us with some of our scenery too, our former art teacher. So it was great, awesome job. Stay here. We're going to take some group pictures for the yearbook.